Hello folks and welcome to this small tutorial where I want you to show how to apply the native Author4XP integration patch by Flytemper for the, for the Las Vegas scenery. First of all, a small disclaimer. There is already a version circulating in the stores, but it's not the final one. You should have the one I see on my screen. Uh, just compare the README which is uh, um, included and packed inside the patch. You should see a line like this and then you probably have the newest version and the correct version. So what is this integration patch? It's just a workaround on not to use the conversion tool anymore and not to have the performance hungry poly photos. This means your complaints were heard by Flytemper and they created this patch. So no conversion tool needed, no Python needed, and no performance penalty. The process of applying is actually pretty straightforward. You just need to know the limitations. The first limitation is that you only are allowed to use tiles with zoom level 17. You only are allowed to use those sources here for creating your tiles. And you're not allowed to use to use mixed zoom levels in those tiles. So actually it's pretty obvious, right? To be able to apply the patch, you first need to create an ortho tile by yourself using Ortho4XP. This is the prerequisite. And that you cannot use mixed zoom levels it is not really bad. Just, just for your information, the Las Vegas scenery by Flatemba comes already with an zoom level 18 uh, author photography in the scenery area. And if you add the fact that it's that Las Vegas is located on the bottom right of the tile and it's bordering with other tiles and that it consists 90% of desert, then it doesn't make sense to have mixed zoom levels or, or higher zoom levels. I guess that for 90% or even more, the zoom level 17 in the desert area and the zoom level 18 which comes from the scenery is more than enough. Well, yeah, this is the limitation, right? So what you need is to have already Ortho4XP tiles created to be used and to be converted. Please make also sure you created the tiles with the custom dem preference in Ortho4XP because I used for this demo here, the net one third of an inch elevation data. Uh, yeah, let's go. So as stated out earlier, you have the README, which is quite straightforward. This it is in the package where the patch itself is called the Flight Temper Las Vegas Free Mesh Auto 4 XP. And the first thing to do after creating the tiles is to drop this into your a custom scenery directory. Waiting a little bit. And now, after the copy process is done, we will just go inside this new mesh directory, navigate down to Earth Nav data to the tile itself and also to uh, the source DSF directory. And what is in this source DSF directory is pretty simple. You can select the imagery source which you choose on creating the tile. So if you created the tile with Bing, then you would select this one. If you have done it with Google, you will use this DSF. And if you have used USA2 as a imagery source, you don't need to do anything because it's already default. So let's assume that your tile that you have created with Author4XP is with Bing. Then you would go ahead, copy this DSF file, navigate back to Earth uh, to uh, this level of the EarthNav directory, paste it. Remove the existing DSF file and do a rename by just uh, removing the, the, the source initials. 
there you go. So now we're using the DSF file, which is optimized for the Bing imagery. After doing so, we go back again to the mesh folder and navigate to the textures directory, which is empty. And now you have multiple choices. You could go ahead and open your Ortho4XP tile, navigate there as well to the same textures directory and copy over all DDS files into this folder. I wouldn't recommend it. Even uh, I wouldn't recommend it because also many of you and the same is also for me. My Ortho tiles are on a separate disk and therefore I don't want to copy just a lot of gigabytes somewhere else. I want to use uh, something like a shortcut or a symlink and I will guide you on how to do it. So the only thing you will need is to open a command line prompt, uh, preferably as an administrator, then uh, switch the directory, switch to the drive where your uh, explain is installed. In this case, on my side, it's Sierra. So I switch to Sierra, I copy the path from the Explorer into, no, not into the textures path, it's one level above. So actually into this uh, mesh folder. Oops, sorry, you need to go to do the command CD for change directory and then input the path. Then we are in this path and with the command mklink and the parameter J, you can create sim links. So the First one here needs to be textures, it's the name that's being created. And then you need to insert the source directory. Just to, to, to be safe, I added them between two quotes. So I go back here because this is my source directory. Oh, yes, this was fine, like this, and add it in between. So what we've done now or are going to do is to create a textures directory and this textures directory will point to your ortho4xp tiles in the same textures directory. So just hit enter. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, of course it says it file already exists. So you see there's already a textures folder. So this is why we need to remove this. And then uh, with arrow up, I can execute the same command. So you see now it's junction created. You see there is a shortcut icon. And if I go inside now, I will see the same content like uh, on the textures on the left side. So this is it. There's nothing to be done on uh, the folder anymore. Let's uh, play it differently. So let's assume I want, uh, I don't like the BI Ortho photos and I want to use USA 2 again. So I just go back to Earth Nav Data, source DSF, select the USA 2 DSF file, copy it, paste it one level above, remove again the original DSF file, do the rename, and there we are we are fine with USA 2 on this side, and I of course need then to do the same changes on texture so I can delete the sim link here, open the command line prompt and just replace the source path with uh, the one I want to use now. So in my case here you see I have two tiles and they have uh, BI and USA2 as file name. So I will just um, use the USA2 folder now to create a junction. Hit enter, junction created, textures, now you see I am in the textures directory of the USA2 Ortho4XP tile. Okay, this is the most difficult part. You see, it's, it's not really difficult. And now we need to clean up our custom scenery packs. So uh, let me close this. This is not needed. So we, now, we go to our scenery packs ini and we look for our flight temper entries. So let me just hit some white space so it's, it's separated. You see there's a mesh directory from the initial installation and for you guys that already created uh, the photo police with the conversion tool you will also have this line. If you never converted the tile you will not see this but anyway 
it's not a problem. You can now go ahead and delete those entries. And deleting those entries means also deleting them from the custom scenery uh, directory. Or for testing, you can also uh, move them away or just create a disabled entry. So you can go ahead now and, and just add the disabled argument so they're ignored by explain. And now, of course, you guess it. I will use the new mesh directory, the ones, the one which I copied over from the patch directory. So like this. And actually, this is what is also um, shown in the readme. You would see this is the correct uh, order. And this is what we don't need anymore. So let me just move this back and save it. And this is it, guys. So I don't see where somebody should have problems in, in using this. Enjoy the better frames. Enjoy that this lazy load effect is gone. And enjoy that you don't need to wait for a lot of minutes or, or even hours for the conversion tool to create the polyphoto tile. Thanks so much, Flytampa, for hearing us here in the community, for creating this fix and for allowing, allowing me this to, to test. Um, I don't have time now to, to jump into explain. I've tested it already. I tested it for Bing and USA 2 and it's working fine. And I hope it will also for you. If you have questions or maybe I missed something, just drop me a comment down below. And yeah, talk to you soon in another tutorial. Let's see if it's being done in English or Greek. Have a nice day or evening ahead and bye bye.